Greetings, this is your King Mike. I don't see the uproar in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. If anything, you know, that should that should um solidify what the woke or the conscious community have been trying to tell you other people. You can continuously say, not all of them are bad, but yet when it comes time to cover their faces and make a decision, as you can see, they will always choose their own. In front of you, they'll smile. They'll even give you a job. But as your elders have told you, and you for some reason you don't want to believe it, you're going to always be the nigga who just left the room. So don't say Kyle Rittenhouse got this because of the color of his skin. Of course, that's the way the world works. Everybody stick to their own except for African Americans. That could be because we were split up from the day one as slaves. So you and people that's not from your tribe, not even from your country or your region or whatever. But you've been here long enough to make a bond. You can form motorcycle clubs, low rider clubs, nigga basketball teams. But you can't make a brother bond with your neighbor. If a nigga live five blocks away, you got to kill him. Think on that. What we need to do is get our OGs, our pastors, our councilmen, our leaders, you feel me? Whoever the president of the motorcycle club, whoever the person who could influence a mass of people in their environment, come together and let's set some ground rules. I'm not saying what the pastor say goes, what the motorcycle leader says goes. I mean, everybody go back to their congregation, their people. What do you need as a people? How should we live as a people? And you come back with all the so-called elders. Right now, we'll call them leaders because they haven't grown into elders. We don't even know who half these people are. You might know who's the shot caller in your environment. Well, you get those together and they bring a list of everything that we need from our different elements. And we pick the ones that work best for the majority, for all of us. And we start creating our customs from that. And as a community, we enforce that, whether we agree or disagree. You understand? So if somebody come over here fucking up, the church going to frown on you, the crypt going to frown on you, the Rough Rider going to frown on you. No matter what you affiliated with, this is how black folks do things. Whether we praising or whether we putting discipline out, we have to be on the same page. So when we get called to do jury duty or we get a job and be put in a hiring position or we become police officers, we become doctors, we need the same mindset, the same way of doing things and carrying things out. You think Jews don't have meetings? You think uh, the, the, the Samoans or the Mexicans or the Irish don't get together, talk about where they want to take their community 20 years from now? We talk about the least education, but I can go and see a Jewish school. I can go see a school for, you know, for Latino people here in America. Built by Latins for Latins. They got them. So we have to understand public housing is the bottom of the barrel. Public aid, public assistance, the bottom of the barrel. But for some reason, we expect public schools to rival private schools. Public schools are the bottom of the barrel. Stop saying you were miseducated when you were allowing your child to go to public school. You don't need a big, giant institution. You can have a public school in somebody's house on every block. You just have to make sure that 
You teach the curriculum that every state requires, the state that you're in, and then you can push the education process as far as you want to. But who got the discipline to donate money? Who also has the discipline not to try to gouge their own hood? And everybody want to hook up. You know black people ain't got it like that. Not yet. So at some point, nobody wants to sacrifice. Nobody wants to be held accountable. How valuable is your child's education? And how important is it for you to teach the community? So I understand we all want to make money, but try to make a thousand dollars off of one child where you can get that thousand dollars by teaching three. You didn't charge as much. You didn't get three thousand, but you got the thousand. You understand? The same here. You over here buying cigarettes or, or, or coach bags and all this, that money could go to your child's education. So what happens in the long run while you sacrificing now? Your child education blossoms up. He can buy you stocking coach. You get your own coach bag. You can own a piece of coach. The same thing. You can't find. You gave these people a break. You could have been charging a thousand a head. You charged three hundred a month instead. Whatever, right? Not all of a sudden you're old or you're middle age. These people are grown. Now you got people qualified to teach. You got people in position because you taught them to make more money and now they can pay their kids to come to you. Now you can make some real money. But we don't think that way. We want to hope white people have this change of heart. White people over here for survival. Think about where they came from. They was in caves. There wasn't no air conditioning in caves. When it was hot, it was hot. When it was cold, it was cold. When it was wet, they was wet. They ain't never going back to that shit. If they have to kill you to stay in your on your land, that's what they're going to do. Keep that in mind. Recognize who they are and where they come from. They ain't never going back. In order to get rid of them, you got to kill them. You heard the phrase, over my dead body. They mean that shit. They ain't going nowhere. You'll get this back when they through with it. So, if you want justice, you must create your own. How do you do that? You form your own political party, create your own agenda. Now, I can make it simple, but nobody is going to believe me. They're going to look at me as I'm joking. But sometimes jokes have a lot of truth to them. God told Adam, be fruitful, multiply. He meant that for a reason, replenish the earth. You can't outvote nobody and they got you outnumbered five to one or 20 to one. So you know what you got to do. You got to make babies. But right now, our baby making process is corrupt. Make a baby if you want to, you'll be in a child support system. Or you'll be raising kids by yourself. Struggling. So we have to re Construct our culture, our way of doing things, get our family structure back together. All hands on deck. We should have at least five, ten kids. That sounds preposterous in today's white man's world. So create your black man's world. Where you can outvote these people in every corner. You can outfight these people at every corner. Right now, it's a shortage of black men. You in jail or dead. We need to create more black men and protect them and educate them and raise them. You understand? Black babies grow into black children, turn into black men. We cannot let them continue to grow in ignorance. Get together with your leaders. Eventually they'll grow into elders. But what's most important, get back to the community. Be the ear of the community, the eyes and the lips, and report back what the community need, and let's build on that. I am King Mike. I'm out.